Okay, we're going to create a distressing TIFF that we can utilize in Illustrator for vector-based objects. Often what people will do is take their vector object into Photoshop, rasterize that object, and use the eraser tool to do their knockouts and distress their logo. That technique, while effective, uh, sort of boxes us in a little bit and doesn't allow us to make vector manipulations to the graphic independent from the distressing. If we want to make changes, kind of we've got two saved files and we have to go back in and distress the object all over again, uh, which can be kind of a pain. So I'm going to show you a superior way. First, we're going to jump down into Illustrator. We're going to select a vector graphic here. Now we're going to go into Photoshop and create a new document. We're going to place our smart object into Photoshop, double click to place it. Now we're going to jump down into the layers panel and create a new layer. We're going to name this distressing because it's going to be the home of the distressing TIFF that we create to put into Photoshop. Now we're not going to use the eraser tool, we're actually going to use the paint, paintbrush tool. So we'll go ahead and grab a brush here. I always like to check my opacity. I vary these. I'll sometimes use the same brush with varying opacities to create a different look. I'm going to make sure we have white selected because we've got a white background. We could do it easily black on black. There are a bunch of options there, but we'll go white for presentation purposes. We're going to start knocking portions of this graphic out, aging it, if you will. I like to switch my brush angles as I distress so things don't, don't look predictable in patterns. They have that authenticity I like. And I'll typically use multiple brushes depending on the look I'm going for. Let's take a quick zoom here. It's starting to come along pretty good. We will work on this a little bit more. I like to grab certain components of the art, try to simulate some abrasion, like this graphic's been worn out over time. That's looking pretty good. Now we're going to turn off our vector smart object and our background. We're going to double click on this distressing layer until it brings up our layer style dialog. We're going to create a color overlay. I'm going to change this to pure black. It just makes it a little bit easier to see when we place it in Illustrator. Now we're going to go to Image, Mode, Grayscale. We're going to Rasterize, Merge, and then it asks us to discard color information. OK. I'm going to go back up to Image, Mode, now Bitmap. Flatten Layers, OK going to want to output this. We're going to output this at 300 pixels per inch. On this drop down here we need to make sure halftone screen is selected. For our halftone screen we're going to want a frequency of 55 lines per inch, an angle of 22 and a half degrees. For shape you can experiment. Typically I'll leave this at round. Okay. So now we are done with our distressing layer. We just need to save it. We'll call this Distress. We need to make sure the format's TIFF. That's important. These preset options in uh, Photoshop don't need to be changed. We'll hit OK. Minimize Photoshop. Now we're going to jump back into Illustrator. We're going to go to File, Place. Grab that Distress that we just made. 
I'm going to place that tiff. There we go. Get that centered up. We want this to be white to knock things out. We can change this to any color we want at this point. But we want white. Now at this point it's going to give us a crude rendering of what our final print is going to look like. To get a more detailed view we're going to go to File, Save for Web. We'll take a look at this in a browser just to see what we've created. That looks pretty cool like some of these uh, abrasion points we've got here. It uh, has a nice vintage feel to it. Pretty pleased. So now cancel out of here. This is an important step. We need to click onto this distressing tiff that we just created and hit embed. What this will do is when we go to save this uh, EPS file it's going to make sure that this uh, is a permanent fixture of this art from now on and so when we send it off uh, for production kind of it's going to accompany the vector based art if we don't embed it it'll be missing uh, when it gets to us for screen printing and we'll have to ask you to send it again so now let me show off where this really comes into play we can utilize this uh, to distress our graphic but we can still make changes let's say we want to switch up the colors I'm going to grab this place this image into Illustrator now simply drop this back on top bring it to the front and there we go we've got a manipulated vector we didn't have to go back and re-distress it kind of, uh, we can utilize this TIFF that we've made for other designs and if, if, if it works. So uh, that's uh, why I feel this technique is superior to using the technique of uh, erasing in Photoshop. This is the better way. Thanks for watching.